Good morning, everyone. I'm Corinne with Life After Neverland. I just got done getting my morning coffee and I am ready and pumped to go. So before we get started, you guys, we would love for you to take a look at our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the like button, maybe even the notification bell. We would be tremendously grateful. We cover BB, we do fun adventures, we have great, great fun with our pets, and we're also going to be covering the masked singer which comes out this week I believe it's Wednesday September 23rd tomorrow we're gonna put out a video talking about all the different costumes that they're gonna have leading into the season and maybe speculate on who's gonna be on the show but let's talk about Big Brother that's Charlie <laughs> <laughs> Last time that you tuned in with us, we were talking about Memphis and some of the shadiness that's been on the internet surrounding him. Many people are saying that Memphis is racist because I don't believe that he was actually using a racial slur. And one of the things that is really crazy about the live feeds right now is that they have been going off for long periods of time. And that leaves fans, in my opinion, to speculate things that are maybe happening or maybe not happening. Because guess what? The live feeds were down and we were thinking that Memphis and David had an altercation. But really, it was Davon and David. Because Nicole was being dishonest, Davon thought that Nicole was obviously going to keep Ian in the house and she didn't. And so Davon was trying to figure out who flipped the vote. She decided that she was gonna blame David for it. She called him an Uncle Tom, and that is a racial derogatory comment. I should just say it's a derogatory comment because what Uncle Tom means is that he sold out his own race. So they got in a tiff and an argument, and that is what happened. When the feeds came back and Enzo and Tyler were talking to David about the fight, it wasn't with Memphis. It was with Davon. Now in other news, you guys, Christmas went ahead and told Memphis, of all people, about her power. And I'm gonna go out and call it right now. I think Enzo is going to win Big Brother. Out of all the people in this house right now, I'm scared that Davon is not going to make it all the way through. And if I had to choose anyone, I would choose Enzo. But with that being said, Memphis was telling Cody that he wants to take Cody and Enzo to the final three. And I don't know why, you guys, but I can see that happening. Davon did end up apologizing to David later on. Now what's interesting is, because David is an inexperienced player and maybe a little bit aiming to please with some of these house guests, Memphis decided to take advantage of that. Pulled David in and said, hey, I'll make a deal with you. I won't put you on the block this week as long as you make sure that you do not use the power of veto. And if I get wind that we had this conversation, I'm gonna know that you're the one that sprayed it. So I'll come after you. <laughs> so guess what? Davon and Kevin are on the block right now. Members of the committee are letting Davon go ahead and think that David was the one that flipped that vote. So she still thinks that David did her wrong, which works for their advantage because it creates uneasiness and distrust in that very, very small alliance, Kevin, David, and Davon, in which they just recently called the house because Davon finally, on week six, put two and two together that Danny has tons of untouchables, which means there is a massive alliance in their midst. So now we have the power of veto competition that happened and Davon and Kevin had house guest choice. And what's really sad is because of the distrust now between Davon and David, Davon did not pick David to play in the power of veto and neither did Kevin. They chose Danny and Nicole. I swear this season is literally killing me. It's a signed, sealed, and delivered deal that Memphis wants David out. And I honestly think that is the most ridiculous thing on the planet. Please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are because it's stupid. It's so dumb. I suppose you guys want to know who won the power of veto then. And it was Tyler. Shocker. You guys, Tyler should have gone home last week. I just can't with this. I just cannot. Memphis is full of shiz he's probably going to try to backdoor David this week. And let me tell you something, David doesn't have that much power over Memphis, so what is Memphis talking about? There's no way David is going to get a leg up to be able to be a major threat in Memphis's world, ever. What I find so interesting about Big Brother is that Big Brother and how the game is actually being played is creating a situation where Davon and David no longer trust each other. And the house skits didn't even plan for that. That was simply because of Nicole's 
turmoil that she has within herself, trying to pretend that she's someone that she's not and ultimately just being who she is. And now Davon does not trust David. And David is trying so hard to sort of fit in when he has nowhere to actually fit in. And he is getting himself sent home because he's falling into Memphis's trap. He literally just fell in this trap. And now his so-called house alliance that just formed last week isn't even going to try to save him. That is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. So with all of that being said, you guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your great comments. And I'd like to leave you with a few thoughts and I'd love to hear what you think. Who do you think is playing the best game thus far? Who do you think is playing the worst game thus far? And who's your favorite? favorite house guest. Who do I think is playing the best game? Let's see if I can answer that question. Enzo. I think Enzo is playing an amazing game. I think he's likable. I feel like he's winning competitions and no one really has him on their radar. And he does socialize with all of the house guests. And like I said, Enzo, I said this before, he's always been likable and Enzo is still likable. So I think Enzo is playing the best game. The worst game, unfortunately, is David. Poor David. I feel like he's a fish out of water. I like David. My gosh, I cannot believe that he is getting the downfall for Nicole's vote. And then lastly, who's my favorite house guest just in general? Well, right now it's Davon. I mean, I'm disappointed in her for lashing out at David in that way, but um, I still really love who Davon is. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you tune into our masked singer that we have coming up this week and hit that subscription. We would love for you to be a part of our big brother and or life after Neverland community. <laughs> Take care, everyone. God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your weekend. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.